Leave it. Leave it. Release. So while we're out here and since no one is growing, I wanted to give you a quick update on how the geese and the chickens are doing. We have two goslings. They are about five and a half weeks old and the chickens are 11 weeks and we have 28 of them. And I do believe that 16 of them are roosters since we've been hearing more crowing. And I think all out of those 16 except for one has started to crow. So that's pretty much expected, I guess. And everything else is going okay with them being outside. We put up fishing line and surveyor's tape all throughout the run in an attempt to discourage aerial predators. Seems like it's working so far, but we are really careful about letting them out and we want to stay close until they get until their adult size.
So we just picked up this awesome juicer the other day for $20 used. So we got a great deal on it. And it's been really awesome being able to fit all these greens in there and get a really healthy um, juice for the morning. So we're juicing up a bunch of greens and throwing an apple in there. And then we're also going to cook some ham and eggs. We just smoked a ham on the new smoker the other day that turned out great. So we're going to get started. Nothing like juicing while carrying. We just finished adding hot water to this bin. We are going to do a quick load of laundry and I'm gonna let it soak now that it's all mixed up. I've got washing soda in here and I also have some soap nut liquid, which is going to be a cleaner for the clothes. I'm gonna get the generator fired up and fill up our clean water side on the laundry. And while the water is running, we're also gonna water the garden. And while we're out here, these potatoes, they seem like they will not stop growing. So we're gonna hill them up a little more. While we're out here, I am going to pick some radishes to pickle inside. We have a plethora of them available and we're just trying to eat through them as fast as we can. I like to pick the big ones out while the other ones are still maturing. These ones can get a little bigger. This is a French breakfast variety. Gorgeous. Cherry Bell, I think. We've got really lucky this year. We haven't had root maggots at all on any of these. All we did was add salt water and garlic to these radishes and now we are going to let them sit on the counter for a few days until they're ready to eat. Okay, I figured this would be a good time to make some pesto. I'm going to cut our spinach and our arugula that is bolting. So 
So we've got everything we need to make our pesto. I'm gonna head inside. So we finished our pesto and we're just going to be putting it in these half pints. We just freeze it. And pesto usually has nuts, pine nuts specifically, and basil in it. But we have always found we like to put cilantro in it and spinach, other greens we have. And we also like to put white wine vinegar in there as well. Okay, into the freezer, these go. Now that the laundry's been soaking for well over an hour, I'm just gonna go through and plunge it real quickly and go ahead and put it through a wringer and let it rinse in some cold water and then I'll get it back through and we'll hang it up to dry. So the chickens, uh, they're getting low on feed, so we went down to town and bought some feed, and we're gonna go ahead and mix up a batch for them. So we usually just feed the chickens peas, oats, barley, wheat if we can find it, and sunflower seeds, but our geese are getting to the point where we need to cut their protein back, and one of them did start to have the beginning of angel wings starting. So we purchased some corn and alfalfa pellets to add in. I'm just going to do that temporarily because I need to make that shift in their diet right now in order to prevent that goose from having the angel wing as an adult. So this is our first time adding more food to this bin. We were only about halfway down and that's all we've used since we've gotten the chickens a few months back. We have not been going through that much food at all for the amount we have and that's because we let them outside and let them eat a little bit of the grub and give them some greens as well as soak their food which helps it go a lot further. All right, so today was a pretty good day and we worked hard but now we're gonna take the dogs out a little ride and let them run around. What about Shmi?
we're just up the road from our house, this trail that we found um, last fall when we moved here. We've done it a few times. We've done it on the snow machine too, but it's pretty muddy right now. I think this is as far as we're gonna go, but we got an awesome view of this meadow up here. a moment to say thank you to all of you guys watching out there even if you're subscribed or not subscribed or you like or comment we really super appreciate that and it helps keep us going and putting out videos just to know that people are out there watching them and responding so thank you guys again for all the support and energy we totally appreciate it and keep the comments coming because uh, believe it or not, we read through all of them and try to reply to them. And we actually learn a lot from the comments we get. And I think it shows in our videos, we uh, really take what you guys say to heart and think about your ideas and try to use them if we think they'll work for us. But it's been a long day and dogs are tired out. So we're gonna head on home.